for the following series determine whether they converge or diverge using the limit comparison test. So start, we use, and going from 1 to infinity, the sum 1 over 2 to the n plus 6. So let's see, our a to the n is going to be 1 over 2 to the n plus 6. I squint at this, and this looks pretty much like 1 over 2 to the n, which I can rewrite as 1 half to the n. So our series is going to be a geometric series with its r equal to 1 half, which means it converges. Absolute value of r is less than 1, which means convergent geometric series. OK, we're going to take our ratio. Limit as n goes to infinity of a n over b n. What's going to happen is this is equal to a number, which is not equal to 0. And that means my two series are going to either converge together or diverge together. So let's do our limit. I'm going to have 1 over 2 to the n plus 6 over 1 over 2 to the n. So we're going to clean out the denominators by multiplying by 2 to the n times 2 to the n plus 6 over itself. When I do that, I'm going to be left with 2 to the n on top, 2 to the n plus 6 in the bottom. And we're going to clean this up by multiplying by top and bottom 1 over 2 to the n. It's going to turn our top term into a 1, this term into a 1, and this will turn into 6 over 2 to the n. As we go out to infinity, 2 to the n is going to go out to infinity. So this term here is going to go to 0, and our limit is equal to 1. So that means these two series are either going to converge together or diverge together. Since our b sub n converges, that's going to mean that the series for a sub n converges also. Let's try another one. I'm going to take n going from 1 to infinity, sum of 1 over 2 to the n plus 3n. So here we have to make a choice. I have to decide, do I go with my bn as 1 over 2n or bn as 1 over n? This is going to be important because if you notice, if I choose 1 over n, I'm picking a divergent series. If I go with 1 over 2n, that's going to give me a convergent series. So that choice is going to decide how we wind up. The thing to notice, 2n is going to have a lot faster growth than n. And as a rule, you're going to want to keep the pieces on the top and bottom. Okay, There's no interesting thing going on in the top here. But you would use the fastest growing pieces in the top and the bottom, and then collapse and see what you're left with. Fastest growing piece in the bottom here is the 2 to the n. So we're going to choose our 1 over 2 to the n as our b to the n. So let's take a look. Take the limb, n goes to infinity of a n over b n. I get my 1 over 2 n plus 3 n, 1 over 2 to the n, and I clear my denominator out. Using the same trick as before, I'll multiply the top and bottom by 2 to the n times 2 to the n plus 3 n. It's going to get me down to here, and I'm going to clean this up again by just dividing top and bottom by 2 to the n, or multiply by 1 over 2 to the n. Get a 1 here, a 1 here, and then i got to deal with n over 2 to the n. So where is that going to go as n goes to infinity? Let's check. All right, if I check what's happening in the top and bottom, we wind up with an infinity over infinity, which means we have an indeterminate form, which means we could try L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says when you have an indeterminate form, take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, try your limit again. If you get something sensible out of it, that's going to be your answer. So derivative of the top is 1. Derivative of the bottom, I can rewrite the bottom as e to the natural log 2 times n. e to the natural log of 2 is equal to 2. So I take the derivative of that. The rule is you just put your e to the natural log 2 times n back where it is, but that recollapses to 2 to the n. And then the derivative of the top, which is natural log of 2 times n, okay, n taking the place of x, derivative of that's just going to be a natural log of 2. That's a number. 1 over 2 to the n as n goes to infinity. Well, 2 to the n is going to go off to infinity also, so this is going to go to 0. Okay, All of that, just to say the limit as n goes to infinity of this thing is going to be 1 over 1 plus 0, or just 1. Limit convergence test says series for a n 
series for BN are going to both converge or both diverge together. In this case, our B sub N is a convergent geometric series, same one we used in our first exercise. So that means our original series is going to be convergent. 